Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's work on a yoga practice that's specially designed to help us manage stress. We all have stressors in our lives. Sometimes it's like I had a stressful day and sometimes it's chronic stress due to caregiving or having a very stressful job or both. <laughs> and in either situation, we need ways to manage our stress in a healthy way so that we can preserve our health in the long run. For today's practice, you're going to need something comfortable to sit on. So that might be something like a bolster or a blanket that you can fold or you can even sit on a chair if you'd like. My name is Zalinda and I specialize in teaching yoga so that people with all kinds of bodies can participate and benefit. Oh, and before we get started, I want to make sure to let you know that starting this Saturday, October 30th, I'm offering a three-week series about how to manage your stress using the tools of yoga and Ayurveda. I would love if you would join me. If you're interested in more information about that, I will put the link in the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Please begin in a comfortable standing position. Make yourself really tall, relax your shoulders. Here we go. On an inhale, come up onto your toes and reach your arms overhead. And then exhale, bring your heels down and bring your arms down. Here's a new movement. Inhale, arms move forward and up while you bring your heels up. Exhale, heels down, arms down. Now we're gonna repeat that. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, down. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, down. If it feels too challenging to do heels and arms, just do arms. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. We're gonna do one more round, inhale. Just trying to loosen up the tension in your upper back. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Take a little rest here. You can shake your legs out. Relax your shoulders. All right, let's keep going. So next, we're going to start putting together a little combination of gentle back bend and gentle forward fold. So on an inhale, bring your arms Forward and up, let your palms face forward and arch your upper back. And then exhale, tiny little forward fold, bend your knees, bring your hands to rest somewhere on your thighs. Inhale, come up again, arch your back, lift your chest. Exhale, little bend in your knees and a forward fold. Let's do about three or four more. Inhale, exhale. If you start to feel comfortable folding further, you can. Inhale, gentle back bend. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And this is our last one. So inhale, come up, go to your gentle back bend. And then exhale and just bring your arms forward and down. Very nice work. Let's continue with some twisting. So we're gonna get some kind of a twisting movement in the spine to help further reduce any tension that you have in your back. So step your feet wide. On an inhale, extend your left arm out toward the side. And then on exhale, twist toward your right and you're gonna touch your shoulder. Inhale, extend the left arm out. Exhale, twist. This is our movement. Inhale, out. Exhale, twist. Inhale, out. Exhale, twist. And here's the last one. Inhale, out. Exhale, twist. Inhale, this arm extends out. Exhale, allow it to rest down. Let's go to the other side, right arm. Inhale, out. 
Exhale, twist, touch your shoulder. Inhale, the arm stretches out. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, try to make a very long fluid movement. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Very good work. Inhale. Stretch your arm out and let it rest down on the exhale. Step your feet together. Shake your legs out a little bit. Now let's work on stretching out the sides of the body and releasing tension from this area. There's two ways that you can do this. I'll show you the gentle version first and then we'll add intensity. On an inhale, bring your arms forward and up. Palms face in. Exhale. Side bend toward your left. Inhale to the center, exhale, side bend right, inhale, center, exhale, arms move forward and down. Keep doing that one if you'd like, or more intensity. Interlace your fingers, press your palms down. Inhale, arms go up, exhale, side bend left, inhale, center, exhale, side bend right, Inhale, center, exhale, arms forward and down. Either version's perfectly fine. Keep going, inhale. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Inhale, center, exhale, arms forward and down. Please engage your abs. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, arms forward and down. Let's do one more if you're up for it. Inhale, abs are strong. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, arms forward and down. Very nice work. Take a rest for just a moment. Smooth out your breathing. We're gonna do one more standing posture. And for this one, you may want something to rest your hands on. So if you have that folded blanket or a bolster or even yoga blocks, any of those will work just fine. We're going to do wide-legged forward fold, and if you can easily reach the floor, you may not need or want to prop, but you can have one just in case. All right, so wide-legged position. On an inhale, stretch your arms forward and up, palms face front. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Rest your hands down someplace. If you're using a bolster, you can even bring it up on its tall edge and rest your hands down this way. So find your version. We're going to stay here, keep breathing. You may feel significant stretching happening in the backs of your legs, so just hang out here for a little bit, maybe one or two more breaths. Please remember that the yoga practice should always feel comfortable, so this should feel like manageable stretching in the backs of the legs, not extremely um, painful. So if you need to, adjust your posture so that it's more comfortable for you. Okay, let's take a break from this. On an inhale, bend your knees, Walk your hands up your legs. Come on back up to standing upright. Exhale, take a little rest. Okay, we're going to do it another time, and now we're going to add on to it. So inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Rest your hands down. And what we're going to add on is some side-to-side -side lunging. So bend your left knee toward the front and lunge over toward the left side. Inhale, come to the center, and then bend your right knee forward and lunge toward the right. And we're going to keep going like this. Inhale, center. Exhale, lunge to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, lunge toward the right. Please feel free to keep going at your pace. If you want to go fast, that's okay. If you prefer to pause on each side for a little bit, that is also fine. 
do whatever your body needs. Just trying to stretch out the backs of the legs. You may also be feeling some significant stretching in the inner thighs. A little bit more of side to side movement. Okay. When you're ready, settle back to the center and we're going to come up the same way we did before. So bend your knees, walk your hands up your legs, come on back up to standing upright, and then you can step your feet together. Very good job with the standing work. Now let's move to lying down on the floor. You can lie in any position that's comfortable for you with your knees bent or straight. When you get to your lying down position, take some time to make sure that your body is as comfortable as possible. Remember that you can keep your legs straight or bent, whichever your body prefers. I do suggest stretching your arms out toward the sides and turning your palms face up because when we position the arms like that, it helps the shoulders to relax down toward the floor. It helps posture. It can help with pain in your upper back and also tension in your neck. So once you settle into your comfortable posture, please just stay and breathe Try to lengthen your inhales and exhales. Smooth your breathing. If you find that instinctively you need to change postures, go ahead and do that. You might need a little bit of rocking in your pelvis or a readjustment of your shoulders or neck. Do whatever you need to do, but keep working on your breathing with long and smooth breaths in and out through your nose if possible. All right, let's start some movement again. So bend your knees if you haven't already, and then step your feet wider to about the width of a yoga mat. Keep your feet in this position, and then we're going to do a bit of twisting with the lower body. So bring both knees over toward your left as far as they'll go. Inhale, bring your knees to the center. Exhale, the knees go right inhale center exhale left inhale center exhale right please keep going at your own pace what we're working on here is stretching out in the lower body so you may feel work happening around your thighs your hips your pelvis Let's do a couple of more rounds. And the next time you complete the right side, when you bring your knees to the center, let them stay, continue breathing. Reposition your feet to something that feels natural and comfortable. And then bring your arms a little bit down closer toward your hips. Palms are still face up. Please stay right here for three breaths. Smooth inhales and exhales through your nose. Okay, good. Next, cross your left ankle over your right knee. And we'll do a bit of movement with your left hip. So start by pressing the knee away from you. You, you. you don't need to do it with your hand. You can just use the strength of your muscles around your hip and your leg and even your abdominal muscles to push the knee away. And then exhale, bring the knee toward you. Inhale, we push the knee away. Exhale, 
draw it toward you. We're going to do two more rounds. Inhale away. Exhale toward. Inhale away. Exhale toward. And then inhale to neutral. And you can go ahead and set your left foot back down on the mat or on the floor and cross your right ankle over your left knee. And we're going to do the same thing. So inhale, press the right knee away from you. Exhale, bring it toward you. Inhale away. Exhale toward. Inhale away. Exhale toward. Here's the last one. Inhale away. Exhale toward. And then inhale to neutral. Go ahead and set your left foot back down on your mat. Stretch your arms straight out toward the sides, palms face up. Make sure everything's comfortable. And then stay here for three smooth breaths in and out through your nose. Whenever you're finished, breathe naturally. Bring your arms down alongside your hips. Palms are face down now. We're going to work on a little bit of strengthening in your lower body. So from this knees bent position, inhale and activate your legs and glutes. Make them strong. Exhale. Allow everything to relax. Again, inhale, activate. Lower body is strong. Exhale and relax. Keep doing that version if it feels okay for you. If you want more challenge, here's a second version. Inhale, activate all the muscles in the lower body. Optionally, lift your hips up. Exhale, lower down and relax. Inhale, activate. Optionally, lift as high as you're comfortable. Exhale, slowly lower and relax. We're going to do two more rounds. Inhale, activate. Optional lift. Exhale, slowly lower and relax. Inhale, activate. Optionally, lift up as high as you're comfortable. Exhale, slowly lower and relax. Very good work. Rock your knees from side to side to relax your lower body. Then reposition your arms to a wide position. Palms face up. Arms are kind of close to your ears. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. And then please stay here for three breaths. You can begin when you're ready. Whenever you finish, you can bring your arms down. Bring your knees up toward your shoulders or toward your chest. You can do whichever one of those options is more comfortable for you. Take a hold of your knees. That could be your kneecaps or it could be behind the knees if you prefer. Do take a hold of them. And we're going to do a little bit of movement here. So on an inhale, stretch your legs up. Flex your feet. That means toes are reaching down toward the floor. And then exhale, bend your knees again, up toward your chest, your shoulders. Inhale, stretch your legs up, flex your feet. Exhale, bend your knees up toward your chest, your shoulders. Two more. Inhale, extend up, flex. Exhale, 
Bend and hug them in. Last one, inhale, extend up and flex. Exhale, bend your knees, hug them in. Very nice job. Set your feet back down on your mat. Take a moment, breathe here, wiggle around if you need to, make sure your body's feeling comfortable and relaxed. And then when you're ready, please roll to one side and then bring yourself back up gently to a comfortable sitting position. And now is when you might like to use your folded blanket or your bolster or even a chair to sit on so that we can do a little bit of breathing practice. So take a minute to set up your comfortable seat. All right. When you sit, you can fold your legs if you want to. You can keep them stretched out if you want to. Do whatever suits your body the best. All right, and then once you figure out once you figure out your comfortable sitting position, please lengthen your spine and relax your shoulders. And if you want to, you can even close your eyes so that you are tuning out any visual distractions that may be in the space where you're sitting. Begin your breathing practice by smoothing your inhales and exhales, just like we've been doing throughout the practice today. Try to lengthen your breathing as much as is comfortable for you. And then we're gonna add a little bit of movement. Whenever you're ready, next time you inhale, lift your face so that it's facing upward toward the ceiling. And when you exhale slowly, lower your chin toward your chest. Inhale smoothly, lift your face, look up. Exhale smoothly, chin moves toward the chest. Please continue at your own breathing pace. With each repetition, hopefully you'll find that any tension in your neck is releasing, subsiding, the movement is becoming smoother and more comfortable. Smooth breathing and movement. Next time you exhale and bring your chin down toward your chest. Follow with an inhale that brings your head and your face back up to neutral. Breathe naturally. Very good work today. Thank you very much for being here and sharing this practice and sharing yourself. I hope you're feeling more comfortable in your body and with your breathing and in your mind now than at the start of the practice. Thank you again for being here. If you have any questions about the work that we've done today, I would love to hear from you in the comments. I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to join me for my stress management with yoga and Ayurveda workshop series that starts this coming Saturday, don't forget to look for that link in the description box below. I'll see you soon.